That's some excellent 1980s aerobic action, and I know it's raising some startling questions about humanity's exercise obsession. But what happens to the fat? Where does it go when you burn it? You might remember that episode of Oprah where she hauled out a wagon containing 67 pounds of fat to illustrate how much weight she'd lost. We all know it didn't leave her body like that, but just how does fat exit the body when we burn it off? You might be surprised to hear that despite all of this, a startling number of health professionals don't know the answer to that question. According to a 2014 study from Australia's University of New South Wales published in the British Medical Journal, the most common misconception expressed by more than half of the 150 50 doctors, dietitians, and personal trainers surveyed is that your body burns it all up into energy. Yes, feel that burn. But the truth is that most of the fat mass is breathed out as carbon dioxide. That's right, you exhale it right into thin air. To put that in perspective, the Australian researchers traced every atom's exit pathway from the body and discovered that when 10 kilograms or 22 pounds of fat are fully oxidized, about 8.4 kilograms or 18.5 pounds of fat departs through your breath as carbon dioxide. The remaining 1.6 kilograms or 3.5 pounds drains out as good old H2O. And that includes elimination via urine, sweat, feces, breath, tears, or any other body fluid that might be a part of your daily workout routine. So remember that the next time you drop a few pounds at the gym, lungs are the primary excretory organ for fat, no matter how hard you're sweating it to the oldies. You have thoughts and feelings. Let us know. In the comments be below. Jumping rope with bad form will ultimately wear you out with little to show for your effort. Only one fifth of women who work out regularly strength train, which raises the question, are women scared of lifting weights? As with most exercise, it's important to remember that you are not in a race. Feel free to go slow and steady, feeling your abdominal muscles flex.